Alright, so this is the mini PC. You may be wondering just how small it is. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to my current PC. Just look at the difference. My dad just surprised me with a mini PC. Okay, I really do not know what to feel about this because I'm still in the midst of reaching out to Aftershock. They have not replied uh, last week, so I've just followed up with them today. Alright, since I've gotten my hand on this, I thought that I might as well just, you know, give it a try. I've always wanted to try, you know, reviewing and unboxing a product. So we'll just try to do this and I'll just record it. I'm not too sure exactly uh, what model this is and what not, but it seems like it's a China-made uh, mini PC. It says here that it has probably built-in Wi-Fi, USB 3.2 Gen 1, DP port 1.4, 4K HDMI 2.0, 1000 and I'm not sure what's this. And USB-C. If you cannot tell yet, I'm I'm not a pro at you know tech or PC, but I just thought might as well just learn on the go and see what it is. Uh, so the spec of this mini PC, all right. For the CPU, it's an AMD Ryzen 7 2700U. For the GPU, it's an AMD Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics, black in color. For the storage size, can't really tell from here. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a unboxing. Okay, a first impression and review on this, and later I'm just going to try to plug it in, turn it on, check that everything is working. So if any chance there is any issue with this, we can return it back, okay, within a week time. Then let's just unbox this right now. Oh wow. Hmm. The PC is really, really small and really light. On off button, headphone jack, mic, one USB port only. Oh no, at the back got two, USB-C, right, and all your other ports at the back. Okay, not bad, there's a total of like five USB ports. Pretty amazing, it's very small. Uh, okay. Alright, okay, so, yeah, I guess all these are the cables. I'm not sure what this cable is for, seems like the power. Um, yeah, this is the power. Yeah, I guess you call this the power adapter, AC-DC adapter. There seems to be two printing on it. And... We have the SATA cable, which I have no idea what it is. Hmm. Okay, we have some school thingies here. And then we also have a user manual. Manual. I just opened and I saw a Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, oh, oh, it doesn't work. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, and what is this? And this is um adapter, I guess you can call it an adapter. Alright, I think it's pretty much plugged in here. Alright, so now that we got everything. Okay. Okay, so now that we got everything, okay, I think I can just turn this on. My whole PC is right here. I'll probably have to unplug my monitor, my keyboard, my mouse and then plug this thing in. So let me just unplug more all my monitor and keyboard. Do this. Pretty sure this is my mouse. Got my mouse out. Time to unplug my keyboard. Okay, great. Now for the monitor. Yeah, that should be it. Alright, great. Alright, okay, that was a mess. But anyway, pull out all the plugs. Okay, so... Okay, so these are the cables. This belongs to my monitor. One of them belongs to my mouse and the other belongs to my keyboard. Alright, so I'm gonna plug this in first. Okay, I'll put my PC here. We need some light. So I think this is supposed to be in here. Alright, so it's all plugged in. Okay. Alright. Okay, so everything looks great now. Okay. Look at how small it is. Alright, so this is how I'm arranging things right now. Power brick here. And yeah, just the cables behind. Alright, great. Now everything is plugged in. Okay, I'm not sure you can see, but the mini PC is just right here. Now for the moment of truth to see whether it can turn on or not. My Ben Ben. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be pronounced in Chinese, but I'm not sure what is that word. Alright. Okay, let me just adjust the screen. I think it's now clearer on camera. Alright, so English language. Uh, region, you can also use another keyboard layout, pretty sure this is it, and I can see that. Let's connect you to a network, yeah great, this can connect to Wi-Fi readout and your adapter. I previously had to use adapter. Okay, so this is a Windows 10 license agreement, so awesome, it has Windows 10 inside. Yeah, but my keyboard is not light up. Let's add your account. Is there a way to skip this? Okay, let's just go create account, alright. Can I not have a password? 
Oh, okay, I don't need a password. Okay, great. Hi. We're getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. Uh, do not turn off your PC. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. Whoa. Oh, what's up with this? Only for better. Okay, alright. Um, I'm quite curious what's up. Browse the web, maybe later. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Bluetooth. No way! Let's see whether it works. This PC has Bluetooth as well. Oh wow, this is... This is pretty cool. Well, it works! Great! I guess I just have to figure it out and whatnot. Overall, it seems kind of okay. Okay, so I got no Chrome, I probably have to download it. Still need to check some stuff, like the storage space. Okay, let's check the storage. This is a weird number. Alright, so it seems like the local disk has about 118 GB, 357 GB. It's quite okay. I can add in an external storage and... Yeah, they have Bluetooth right here as well. I'm not sure if there's anything else I should check. Should I try running a game here? Yeah, I should, right? Yeah, I, mean, I think I should just run a PC benchmark or something like that. Yeah, uh, let's just see whether we can find it online. Uh, I'm totally close about a benchmark. Ah, uh, I can't find any benchmarking tool by Linus Tech Tips, so I'm just going to see online. Ooh, I can actually hear the fan increasing in speed. It just says that my PC reached a score of 98%, but that is out of all the other PCs with the same operating system, the same browser. Eh, I mean, I mean, you're comparing the same, of course. I mean, I should be around the same, right? Meh, I don't think it's really, uh, this is really one of How do I test? I don't know what's wrong, but firstly, my keyboard wasn't responding. I re-plugged it in. Okay, now it's turned on, but it's not working at all. I cannot interact with anything on the screen right now. I don't know what's going on. I need to restart this. Yeah. This is quite worrying. Yeah. Initially, it was fine, right? I mean, you know, it couldn't be telling me that I needed to suddenly install drivers for some of my stuff. So I'm not so sure. Okay, but I guess I have to see. It's 99 word at the bottom here. I'm not sure what it means, but really small. This is a bit scary. And I hope things works fine and well. We are setting up a device. We are setting up a USB keyboard. Okay, I mean, sure. Alright. Restore your clock is a hit. Yeah, my clock timing is wrong. Why? <sighs> okay, at least the keyboard is working fine now. Oh, time has successfully synced. Let me see. Google Chrome download. Let's download Google Chrome. I have to wait like close to 30 seconds for me to open a website, come on. Okay, downloading Google Chrome now. Right, managed to open Google Chrome. I wonder what else should I actually test. I want to test running some games. Let me try download Steam. Oh my god, this is horrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, my keyboard is having some issue. I'm not so sure what. But it just doesn't type up exactly what I want to type. Like, I type benchmark. Okay. And all the M's suddenly come out like... What the heck? Suddenly so many A's. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? This is not good. Hmm. Something is wrong here. My keyboard isn't reacting correctly to this machine. Alright, anyway. Uh, now I'm just going to try to run some tests on this PC. And I'll get back. I think it's kind of boring to keep looking at me just trying to work things out. So yeah. It's day 2, I used the PC I did quite late last night, I thought I would just do a follow up for today. I managed to play Monster Hunter Rise in like the lowest graphics, it was fine, it can run. I tried to push it at higher graphics but it was just really really bad so I really have no idea how to benchmark PCs like what software to use and I found some but they only told me like it's good among other PCs of the same same specs and stuff like that but I just want to know like really how bad this PC is compared to you know all the specs out there and uh, how would it really fare today and I, I I couldn't really get an answer to it so I thought it would only make sense if I actually use this PC for a week okay and see how it goes whether it has any breakdown or any issue because getting this at 500 I think it's a steal and, and I've got to manage expectations I'll use it for a week and see how it goes I think there is no issue running quite a few software like maybe some that 
I use often is maybe Adobe Premiere Pro and Zoom, PowerPoint, all this. I think it's really simple. I think the only one that can really push the limits are running games, which I don't really play, and Adobe Premiere Pro, maybe the exporting and whatnot. But I'm kind of used to my old PC already, so I think it's good. Uh, as long as this can run, I think I'm kind of like satisfied with it. So that's all that matters. I just hope that this thing doesn't break down. That's all. That's all I asked for. And I'll come back to this video after a week of using this mini PC. Yeah.